I'm back everyone. I'm gonna try this video in 4K this time. I apologize for the previous videos, but I forgot. Oh, crap. That was poor timing. Got the guy backing out at the same time. Really poor timing. That right there is a perfect example of my car not being able to see. I don't know. I'm not even sure what it would do. Because this vi this view right here is my view. I can't I can't even see. And that car just didn't slow down at all. This is how it has to creep. It has to creep this slow. Now I can see. I can see. But I'm, the B pillar cannot because it's pointing the wrong direction. That could have been bad if the car was um, driving on its own. Um, the, I personally think there is a clear limitation with the camera hardware. There is definitely a clear limitation. And um, I'm going to make a video on that eventually at some point. It is gonna have, it's going to take some time because it takes some compilation to get that done. But there is, I think, a real chance that that's going to limit how the car drives. There's no, um, it is going to have some issues going around different areas. So we're going to see how it handles this turn up here. I just kind of wanted to get the 360 camera on view just to kind of see. Um, I don't have a lot of battery or storage on that, so I can't record a whole, whole bunch. I just wanted to get Astral mainly. But um, I'm going to see how it does here. I'm probably gonna. No. I'll keep it on until it dies, basically. I think we're at 60%. I, I can actually see the camera up through, through the uh, glass on the roof, so that's really convenient. Um, it is my turn. Okay. Got a moment of truth up here, so the navigation. It's actually showing it not to turn. See where it shows red right there? That's where I would normally turn. But it's saying to go up and around. Last time it turned right here at the red section. So we're going to see where it's going to turn. I'm actually going to slow it down. And see, sharp right is this. So it's doing the same thing as last time. Ooh, I scraped on him. Okay. So that needs a camera button right there. That's that stop sign again. So that's the same as um, 10.0. Same exact mistakes as 10.0. I did not learn in this section. I had pressed the camera button previously and it did not learn on these sections here. This time on this section here. Okay, so it's going through this the spots in the road. Well, actually, those aren't even parking spots. It's just a no drive zone. People really make the car freak out. It is so hesitant and so afraid of hitting someone that it just absolutely just forgets how to drive. It's like it's honestly just like a human. Like when a human gets really anxious, they their their performance just plummets. And um, and that's basically what the car is. The car has anxiety. <laughs> Essentially, um, it doesn't want to hit a person. That's just a, kind of an interesting thing. Okay. 
Come on, get us get us waypoints, please. Please. Let's see if it misses its turn. Well, not turn. It actually did get in the correct lane. On a previous time coming through here, it got off on the exit because it didn't know where to go. It, it thought the navigation wanted to go to the exit, and it, it was obviously wrong. So that's good. Okay, so that was good. That was all automatic. And it's speeding up on the on-ramp again. And it shouldn't should never speed up on an on-ramp. Wow, I've never actually gone off this way before. Okay, I know exactly where I am now. Not sure. No. Also, my... It, it still has the override I put on it. So that was good. And, whoa, what? Um, okay. This is a situation where humans try to be nice to each other and no one goes and then you get traffic mi mixed up. So that was a real disengagement right there. Because, uh, well, actually, if my car had gone, it probably would have been fine. But um, you never know. So I, I didn't want to risk anything. Okay. Okay. I think this is right. No, this is, oh, this is not right. Again, gets in the wrong turn lane. Again, the car doesn't get the excuse that, like, me, I'm not super familiar with this area. So, I don't know the turns very well. Oh, I had disengaged by accident because I was trying to avoid that pothole, which didn't work. Uh, <laughs> so, right here is the correct turn. Now turn left onto Road. Good to go. So I don't actually want a supercharge, but I do want to go park next to the superchargers. Uh, and I'm going to go in real quick. And that will be the end of this drive. Uh, unfortunately, this one was not the same as... Uh, our previous drive but um it definitely definitely gave new challenges and you're kind of a unique road to go on this is uh 191 if you can't see there uh this is 191 here in Asheville, north carolina west Asheville, to be specific now it's definitely doing better i used to use autopilot on this specific road um and it's definitely doing better Right here. In 500 feet, bear right to stay on Redwood Road. And it needs to go straight. So actually, I would normally get on the highway right here and not go straight. Now bear right to stay on Redwood Road. It's actually Brevard Road. If you're not from this area, it's Brevard, not Brevard. I wish, I really wish there was a way, like, even open street map or something that, to correct that stuff. I don't remember this road being 30 mile an hour. All right, since we're going so slow, we're gonna get in the right lane here. Yeah, 
that's 45, so let me go ahead and up it. I was trying to stop for that stoplight below the stoplight, so that's not good. It needs to know it's under the stoplight. It, the visualization is probably accurate to what the car is depicting because it, it thinks we're still in front of the stoplight, so it tries to stop still. This is, oh come on, oh wait a second, no it's supposed to be going in here. Okay, so the problem is that you need to get in the left lane, so it's probably going to mess up here, but um, yeah, that was a straight up nav issue, we're going to Dillard's. And it wants to go all the way around to get there. That doesn't make any sense. Um, we actually want to go... I'm actually going to go somewhere in here. So, not going to let me do it. But essentially once we're in, in the parking lot, we're going we're gonna to call it. So this drive, not the same theme, everyone. It's just, it's okay. Um, it's better than it was obviously like 8.2 or even 9, but 10 was better for sure. It's not going to be able to get in here. I'm going to have to take a right. It, it, okay. Yeah, this is what I thought. So if I had navigation correct from the beginning, it would have made that, it would have gotten the right turn lane. Which this reiterates why it's so critical to get in the correct turn lane instead of having to like, oh, want to maneuver and get in between traffic. This is one, why traffic issues happen. And two, it just causes unnecessary risk. Because now me having to squeeze in there, I have to look around constantly and try and figure out where I am to make sure I don't hit a car, make sure someone else doesn't hit me. So it's really critical that it gets in the lane ahead of time. So obviously that was my fault for rerouting us. But um, yeah, I'm actually not gonna, I'm not going to go in. We're gonna park right here real quick. Um, but everyone, uh, that drive is okay. We're gonna do two more drives, I think, the rest of today. We're gonna go to Mills River Park, so I can uh, walk Onyx. And then I'm going to, um, uh, from there, going to go home. Uh, we'll go to my parents, have dinner, and then I'm going to go home from there. And then we're going to edit up, edit up all these videos this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.